going to show you a quick little video. The guys here were getting into suspension systems and we've got these neck bearings that are loose. Okay, I've got a lot of play in there so it's a lot of work to get to this. And since the bike's new to me, I'm just going to disassemble the whole thing and uh, change fork oil, check seals, bushings, do everything so I can uh, not have any problems, put a lot of miles on there. A lot of times you newer techs are getting into this and this seems really intimidating, which is pretty normal feeling for most anybody who hasn't done a lot of this. But I want to give you some tips. Tip number one, you guys know this, is you take a photo. Stand back and take a photo of the whole area and then check your photo. Make sure it's clear because like where this wire is laying across this connector, maybe I'd be better off to push it up here and show the, the connector. Um, for ease of assembly. The other thing is, Monroe, get in here close. You're going to see here, and what I did is just a bunch of different ones. So on this connector, we got male and female. That's actually on the wrong side. So why don't I just fix that right now? Because that's the same connector. That wouldn't help very much, right? So we'll go one, two, three. So now when I take that apart, you're going to see that I'm going to very easily be able to put back together. You'll see on this side, on this black one, I did a couple dots. And if you look at the other side of the bike, which shouldn't matter. So if you come over here to this speaker one, but they could easily enough get flipped left and right, I marked the white one. Make sense? And then just throw out all the other ones. Sometimes I did numbers. Some t Here I did slashes. Uh, I did letters on some of these zeros, X's, F, you name it. I don't care what you do, but do something. Mark something so that it doesn't have to be so dang difficult. Looks like I could see a few more connectors that haven't been labeled yet. Um, some of you might be saying, oh man, that's overkill. If I'm a pro, I don't need this or whatnot. And here's the reason I like to do this, is that especially for your entry level guys and gals, we're talking about also building muscle memory. So Maybe you do Harleys all day long and you're a rock star at Harley Davidson, but now all of a sudden Yamaha comes in, you're like, whoa, I don't recognize these, I'm not familiar with these, uh, they routed a little different, and so on and so on. That muscle memory is going to have you making this really nice and fast. Make sense? Another thing, when you get in here, it's almost always that you're going to find a bunch of problems. So we found some other stuff in here. You can see this little clip. That's meant for a retainer to like hold the harness. And can you see how we have metal wires right on, or excuse me, wires right on the metal? You see that? Yep. This, is, this bike's a V-twin. It's going to sit and do this. What's it going to do those wires? It's going to chafe them. It's going to eventually poke through them. Then you're blowing fuses. you got all kinds of problems. So all this stuff that's just loose and dancing around here, people say, well, I got the cover on, so it doesn't matter. It does matter. You need to figure out, the service manual does a great job of showing you how to retain this. At a minimum, if I were simply just to go in here and set this on the protective rubber with a, with a cable tire, cable strap, I'm a thousand times better than this, right? So quality work. Another thing that I found in here, we got what I think is probably gonna be a hot wire, and it's just clipped off, it's exposed, that could bounce against something and then have a direct short. That's going to blow fuses. Absolutely unnecessary. Are you with me on that? So I still got a lot of work. You can kind of come around this side. All we're doing is we're going in, we're being a mechanic, and do you see how easy it is to find all these little things that are incorrect? Long as I go in as a mechanic, that whole every mechanic should know this thought and say, fix all the easy stuff, route it right, tie it right, mark things, good connections, you know, all that stuff. The rest of the job is significantly easier because I'm not going to run into those big hiccups, right? So anyway, that's our tip of the day is a good way to mark, photograph. Uh, please don't make life so difficult. Think of these really quick uh, tips and techniques to save yourself a bunch of problems. I've been turning wrenches for 25 years. I'm still labeling. I'm still taking photos because I can tell you, I can guarantee you, if I go back and look at an old job when I was an earlier tech, I, I probably caused myself a bunch of wasted time. Good stuff? Yeah. All right. Well, make it a great day. Keep at it. Keep wrenching. Share this with your friends uh, that are slinging wrenches.